folks, it's Jim from the Movie Wine, and with the unfortunate passing of Tony Scott, I decided to revisit one of my dad's favorite films. No, not Top Gun, although that certainly is one, considering my dad literally wants to be Tom Cruise. I'm talking about Enemy of the State. Robert Clayton Dean, a devoted father, husband, and attorney, played by Will Smith, is shopping for his wife, played by Regina King, and he bumps into an old friend, wildlife researcher Zavitz, played by Jason Lee, who, unbeknownst to Robert, slips a disc in one of Robert's bags. This disc carries the evidence of the recent murder of a U.S. congressman by corrupt National Security Agency official Thomas Reynolds, played by John Voight, after the congressman opposed the new bill that would expand the surveillance powers of law enforcement agencies. Now Reynolds is trying to cover his tracks after failing to attain the video disc by incriminating Robert and his ward. He frames Robert for the murder of Rachel Banks, a former girlfriend played by Elisa Bonet, who Robert acquires information from regarding his legal practice. Now Robert, on the run, acquires the help of retired National Security Agent Edward Lyle, played by Gene Hackman, who provides Robert insight of the advanced technology the government employs in a world of little to no privacy while trying to clear Robert's name. A while back, I reviewed Francis Ford Coppola's The Conversation, a considerably better film than this, but also has some interesting similarities in paranoia. They also happen to both star Gene Hackman as a recluse aware of the dangers of surveillance. In fact, Allow's Hideout is a clever nod to the 1974 masterpiece. However, while The Conversation was a film that focused more on atmosphere and moved at a slower pace, this is a Tony Scott flick produced by Jerry Bruckheimer, meaning that there will be an occasional chase sequence or explosion. I hesitate to call Enemy of the State a smart film or even much of a plausible one, but it is a thoroughly entertaining one. Smith is charismatic enough, and the role requires him to do more than just run around, although he's doing plenty of that as well. However, when the film starts to run a bit out of steam, Hackman gives it a much-needed drive again. On an eccentric, he's more of an outspoken version of Harry Cole from The Conversation. The rest of the supporting cast provide a lot of character and humor, for better or worse. Boyd can play these quiet, malevolent authority figures in his sleep, and Regina King thankfully gets a character that is not beyond reason, surprisingly, in this kind of thriller. Aside from Angel Heart, this is one of Lisa Bonet's larger roles providing screen presence, while actors like Barry Pepper, Seth Green, Jack Black, Jamie Kenney, Scott Kahn, and Gabrielle Byrne also show up as Reynolds' somewhat silly surveillance team. While it's not a tight flick, the pacing keeps it moving along, and there's particularly a nicely done chase sequence at the halfway mark of this flick, with Robert eliminating the wires attached to him. The bad guys like to make things more difficult for themselves, and the Mexican standoff at the end, headlined by actor Tom Sizemore, is pretty dumb, but overall, Enemy of the State is good escape as fun. That's it for the movie wine. Have a good day, folks. Until next time.